Search operations at the condo collapse in Florida are in their ninth straight day. Work temporarily stopped yesterday due to safety concerns. Madeline Rivera has more. Crews in South Florida are now in their second week of search and rescue efforts. Officials here now making plans to demolish what's left of the condo building. Rescue teams continue to dig through more than a dozen feet of concrete in Surfside, Florida. Work resumed late Thursday after a 15 hour pause. There were concerns about the stability of the remaining structure after officials say they observed it swaying a bit. The movement was significant enough where we did three blasts of the horn and all the men and women rush from the site to the water side. But officials add those fragmented pieces of the tower still pose a danger and they're considering demolishing the rest of the building. The move could allow for more personnel on the site. We need to know, you know, what the prescription is to solve the problem if there is a problem. If the building is a problem, the building has to disappear. As rescue efforts continue, President Biden says Surfside has the full support of the federal government, pledging to cover the entire cost of the operation for the first 30 days. On Thursday, he met with first responders and relatives of the victims. Local leaders say the president moved from family to family, listening to their stories. What amazed me at this group of people was their resilience, their absolute commitment, their willingness to do whatever it took to find, a, to find an answer. Officials here now monitoring Hurricane Elsa, which is expected to bring heavy rain and strong winds this weekend.